Well, hello and welcome to a Weekly Wisdom. Uh, today finds us at the end of Proverbs chapter 2. And the theme today is that there are divine consequences to daily earthly choices. We kind of like to think that isn't the truth, and especially those who walk in faith in Jesus say, well, Jesus forgives everything and everything's going to be great. Well, if you confess your sins, Jesus forgives everything, but everything's not always guaranteed to be great because there's consequences for the choices we make in this life. And so listen to these words from the end of Proverbs chapter 2, verses 20 through 22. Thus you will walk in the ways of the good and keep the paths of the righteous. For the upright will live in the land, which was the hope of every person in the ancient world. And the blameless will remain in it. There's the good news. Verse 22. But the wicked will be cut off from the land, and the unfaithful will be torn from it. Boy, the mega theme in this short portion of wisdom we're going to look at is that there are consequences, both good and bad, for our attitudes, actions, and the choices we make in this life. And so if you look through this passage very quickly, you recognize that in verse 20, it's clear that there are good and righteous pathways. There's ways to think, to behave, to speak, that honor God, that are good in God's sight. In verse 21, we find out there's blessings for the upright and for those who seek to live in God's ways. Here, he says, they'll, they'll stay in the land, they'll receive the land. In the ancient mind of the readers of these passages, the land meant everything, and safety and security in that land meant so much. And so then, what follows, there's consequences for the wicked and the unfaithful. When, when it basically says, you'll be thrown out of the land. And here's what's interesting. Not only did God throw the people out of the land who were the pagan nations and bring his chosen people in, but God kicked his own people out of the land when they acted like the pagan nations. It wasn't that they had this special place that they got to have, but they were living in a way that followed him, and when they rebelled, they lived with the consequences. Uh, years ago, as a young boy, uh, I grew up in a family that loved musicals. Uh, I'm not a real musical guy. Maybe it's because I saw so many of them and watched so many of them in plays and movies growing up. I kind of got enough for a lifetime and maybe a little bit of extra. But I do remember the, the musical Fiddler on the Roof. And I love the character Tevye. Even as a young boy, before I was a Christian, I didn't grow up in a home with faith, but Tevye would say, dear God, and he would sort of talk to God, talk to, look up to the sky and talk to God. And in one little piece, I remember he looked up and he said, dear God, I know that we're your chosen people, but sometimes could you choose someone else? And it was kind of a, kind of a humorous line. What he was saying is he recognized that being chosen by God is in many ways a call to responsibility. And we look at it as a, as a call to blessing. It's both. But we have to recognize that even when we're called by God, even when we're loved by Jesus, there are consequences to how we live our lives. So we need to live a good and righteous life and see the fruit of that and be careful not to wander off God's path. Let me pray for you. Lord God, our, our prayer is very simple today. Help us recognize the good path, the righteous path, the beautiful path you want us to walk on. Help us pursue you on that path. Protect us from wandering off it into all the folly that this world offers to us. Lord, help us walk so closely with you that we always walk in your ways. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. God's blessings and have a great rest of your day.